Hey you guys, uh, we're just going to real briefly cover validity and soundness um, in this little slideshow. Uh, should give you some working knowledge of what it is. Remember, um, validity is uh, when it is not possible for premises to be true and the conclusion false. In other words, the premises force the conclusion to be true. And um, soundness applies to arguments which are valid and the premises are actually true. All right, so let's take an example right here. All humans have hearts. Sid is a human, thus Sid has a heart. Okay, well let's ask if this is valid. Is it possible for one and two to be true and three to be false? All humans have hearts, just suppose it's true. If Sid was a human and all humans had heart, then it would follow that Sid has a heart. So that would be correct, it would be valid. But now, is it in fact sound? Well, yeah, it is sound, right? Um, Sid does have a heart. Here we mean Sid Vicious. Now, some of you who know who he is may not think that he has a heart in a metaphorical sense, but obviously beating in his chest, uh, in this example, he does. So the, the argument would be valid and in fact would be sound. So validity, one in, if one and two are true, then three has to follow. So it is valid and it is sound because uh, the premises are actually true. All right, um, let's try another example. All humans have three heads. Kobe is a human, thus Kobe has three heads. Okay, is it valid? We ask, if one and two are true, does three also have to be true? Well, if all humans had three heads and Kobe was a human, would it be true that Kobe had three heads? Yes, it would be valid, right? One and two would force three to be true. But is Kobe, in fact, got three heads? No, Kobe only has one. He could probably afford two more heads. He's made so much money but he doesn't actually have three heads, so the argument, although it's valid, it is not sound. All right, let's use this one here. All mammals have lungs. Iguanas have lungs. Thus, iguanas are mammals. All right, think about it. All mammals have lungs. Suppose that's true. Suppose also that iguanas have lungs. Does it follow that iguanas are mammals? No, it doesn't, because what we would need to establish is that iguanas are not some other type of thing that don't have a lung. So the argument would not be valid, and of course uh, it is not sound because iguanas are not mammals. All right, um, let's try another. Uh, you should be getting the, the gist of it a little bit. All dogs are mammals. All mammals have green fur. Thus, all dogs have green fur. Now remember, when we're talking about validity, you just want to ask if the premises are true, does the conclusion follow? So let's look at it this way. Suppose all dogs are mammals. Suppose all mammals have green fur. Does it follow that all dogs would have green fur? Yes, it would, right? Because all dogs are mammals and all mammals have green fur, right? But something like all A or B, all B or C, thus all A or C. And that would in fact be valid. But obviously, uh, it's not sound, and that's because uh, not all dogs have green fur. Here's an example of a dog right here, uh, a Doberman Pinscher, um, who doesn't have green fur. I, I mentioned a Doberman Pinscher because uh, one of them actually came into our backyard last week. There was this massive Doberman Pinscher in our backyard, which was real scary. Um, so you get the benefit of that. Okay. But that does it. That covers validity and soundness. That should give you kind of a working, a working play field for how validity and soundness work. Please feel free to work this uh, video a couple of times, and if you have any questions, email me.